The fundamental purpose animating the faith of God and his religion is to safeguard the interests and promote the unity of the human race and to foster the spirit of love and fellowship amongst men. As the life of humanity undergoes a process of profound change, across the globe, followers of Baha'u'llah, in the company of their friends, are striving with great enthusiasm to put into practice his teachings. Working shoulder to shoulder with neighbors and colleagues, they are learning how to build vibrant and prosperous communities. Communities that begin to reflect a united and illumined new world. The revelation of Baha'u'llah has the power to transform society. For the last many decades, we've been learning how to take that revelation and apply it in order to affect the spiritual and material progress of society. Around 20 years ago, we reached a turning point process that started to unfold was a systematic training of, of individuals to build their capacity in order to be effecting change in, in their communities. We have now this, this tool, this instrument of limitless potentialities that is helping us to develop our capabilities to actually translate what has been written in Baha'u'llah's writings into very practical action. And maybe then the question before us now is how do we bring more and more friends into this process so that together as a collective we can really advance in our capacity. Vamos a memorizar una cita. Cita de Baha'u'llah una cita muy bella que nos va a enseñar a tener un corazón puro. Oh, hijo de in October 2017, people from every walk of life 
gathered in homes and halls, parks and universities to celebrate the bicentenary of the birth of Baha'u'llah. When I think about the bicentenary celebrations, I think one of the things that we've seen is how ready people are now to speak of the life of Baha'u'llah and of his teachings directly, and how ready people are to hear them. And I think that has been a change. Baha'u'llah ha traído estas herramientas para realmente transformar nuestras vidas individuales y colectivas. El bicentenario nos llevó a otro nivel de acción colectiva. As more and more souls learn to apply the Baha'i approach to building vibrant communities, populations around the world are increasingly spurred into action, learning to take charge of their own development. Baha'u'llah, además de que nos da ese sentido de propósito, ya como individuos, nos indica claramente cómo podemos eh, cumplir ese propósito en base a las interacciones que tengamos con los demás. Uno ve personas, uno ve grupos, uno ve comunidades, donde la llegada ¿no? de las enseñanzas Baha'is fue el punto de partida hacia nuevos niveles de mejor calidad de vida. Under a wide diversity of conditions, in virtually any cluster, it is possible for an expanding nucleus of individuals to generate a movement towards the goal of a new world order. comunidad Baha'i en Gran Canaria lleva años, está establecida hace tiempo. Al principio era un núcleo pequeño en la agrupación pensando seriamente cómo podemos encontrar a gente de la sociedad que pudiera beneficiarse de la visión de Baha'u'lláh para esta edad. El portal sin duda fueron los tres jóvenes, ¿no? ellos se sentían tan identificados con el proceso, se sentían eh, tan vinculados a, a lo que estaban viviendo, a los valores que transmite el programa, que de manera natural las conversaciones con sus familias pues, se daban y las familias veían que algo estaba sucediendo. Algunos de los, de los padres pues, empezaron a acudir a las reuniones de reflexión con nosotros. Empezamos a tener los participantes de las clases de niños, los participantes de los círculos de estudio en la reunión de reflexión, empezamos a utilizar un lenguaje abierto, incluir el arte, historias, canciones espirituales y la motivación aumentaba muchísimo más. Y el efecto fue que en cuestión de tres, cuatro ciclos ya la reunión se había transformado totalmente. Y ver a toda esa gente ahí juntas, están aquí hablando de su barrio y además lo hacen con un montón de cariño porque es un han crecido. Quisieron de alguna forma devolver todo lo que habían eh, recibido, ¿no? Y algunos incluso sintieron en su corazón que, que lo que ellos querían para su vida era servir a Baja. Y la... para mi vida era ayudar a cambiar de vida. Y entonces ahí empezaron a, a tener nuevas preguntas, ¿no? Que si queremos crear una nueva realidad, una nueva comunidad vibrante, cómo podemos eh, compartir con nuestros vecinos, compartir con más personas. ¿no? Y nos enfocamos hacia cómo aprender a elevar el carácter devocional en diferentes aspectos. ¿no? Cómo un, un espacio de oración va evolucionando en el tiempo 
y va generando como más impacto a nivel comunitario y cómo la oración ayuda a unirse también como amigos, ¿no? Entonces, práctica. Empezamos por mmm, en abrir nuestra casa con nuestros periodos devocionales. No solo oramos juntos, caminamos juntos y compartimos muchos cafés y muchos té, ¿no? Y realmente cualquier reunión, cualquier reunión se convierte en una reflexión acerca del momento que estamos viviendo, de lo que necesitamos o cómo podemos cambiar. El carácter devocional de la comunidad ha sido elevado porque muchos hogares se han abierto, ¿no? Es como un sendero de servicio que es abierto para todos. ¿no? El amor que hay entre todos, que también es contagioso, y ese apoyo mutuo es una característica grande. Y creo que se está haciendo patente un cambio real de cultura en, en la agrupación de Gran Canaria. Nos movió que nos inspiramos, nos movió que oramos. Con toda la capacidad que se ha generado, miramos al futuro y pensamos el anhelo de nuestro corazón, es como llegar a toda la población de un barrio. Sydney as a city has between four and five million people. There are around 600 core activities that are, that are taking place. And there are two approaches that the community takes to uh, its own growth and development. The, the first approach is really working with the whole community through um, efforts with the youth, efforts in terms of children's classes and devotional meetings. The, the second approach is in a, a neighborhood or a, a small part of Sydney. The first approach where there's a broad learning across the, the whole community is able to bring insights to, to the work that's happening in, in, the, in the focused areas, but at the same time where there's, there's focused energy, the, the learning can go quite deep. And so this is able to be shared throughout the cluster. Community building efforts in Sydney aimed at working in neighborhoods had begun sometime in 2008. We're really trying to see how we can go deeper into a community and how to reach a large proportion of a neighbourhood. We also wanted to learn about having institute camps. So we started experimenting to see how we could take a group of youth very quickly within two or three cycles through the whole sequence of courses so that by the end of the two cycles we had a group of tutors. I started the process about three years ago um, by being invited to an institute camp. Now I'm a tutor, junior youth animator and a children's class teacher. My mum also is in the process. Yeah, I guess this journey it wasn't something that happened overnight, but it's something that took place and really made that foundation of like my family becoming like unified to share this passion to want to serve and to want to come to the Institute camps is, I don't know, it's a great feeling. So after the Institute process entered the community, people really saw the, the value of, of the, the process itself and, and really took ownership of it. And now it's the people of the neighborhood who have become the driving force of change in the community. We were part of the first intake, so we're what we're called here as the veterans. The program has changed my way of thinking. I have a purpose now, like to serve, to teach. We have a lot of like diverse cultures here. If I wasn't involved in this program a few years back, I don't think I would even be here sitting with like, you know, like Aboriginals, Australians. I was always like a person that stayed with the Islanders. And that's how it was for us growing up. But now I have this sense of diversity where I want to be friends with everyone, like, you know, all different cultures. It was really hard to, to bring a lot of different people together, but we really grew a lot. We had a deeper connection because we were going through this process together. And now families, whole families going through the process. They're now consulting together and, and solving problems amongst the family. 
it's a, oh, no, it's not even a program, it's just a way of life. Like, my kids enjoy being involved, you know, even the animator, yeah, he, I don't look at him now as, oh, that's, that's your, that's just your animator, you know. He has become, like, family to us, and it's not often you have your kids coming home and being like, you know what? you know what mum if you think about it this way and you go about life that way and you know I'm the parent and to have them sitting there and changing my mind changing my train of thought yeah it's all because of what they're learning like I said it's changed not just my kids life but my life too like for the better through um, these, these community activities we can see that the youth are thinking of each other and, and of each other's families and the families are thinking of the community as a whole. Um, in many instances where the community has gone through tragedies for, for families, uh, maybe there have been deaths in families or like financial problems, uh, the youth have banded together to try and assist that. It feels good you know, to, to see that we're affecting uh, the community in such a good way. You know, it feels really awesome to, to be that change. The youth have a unified vision and they're focusing and they're um, channeling a lot of their energy to, you know, transforming their communities. I'm studying youth work and I'm hoping to do a diploma and try to get into uni and stuff like that because um, because I thought maybe I'm like I'm doing this all the time. Why don't, why not just get my qualifications? Like why not be able to broaden like make it like a lot more where I can help people. We all committed ourselves um, to a lifetime of service. We tutor Ruhi books together. Uh, we start core activities together. We accompany many other people, and it's a very special um, relationship that we share. Yeah, it's just grounded in service. I think which is the most beautiful thing. Sometimes I ask myself. You know, where would I be if it wasn't for, you know, this movement and this process? Because really, there's, at this point in my life, there's no other way um, I would spend my time, my young years that are limited. Yeah, I thank Baha'u'llah for having enabled me to, to serve my community. After seeing how the Institute process really affects the neighborhood and, and how much change can come through it, the youth decided to create teams to, um, to go out and, and share the, the process with other surrounding areas and clusters um, to help those communities advance. We're not just focused on the advancement of our own community, but we want to see other communities advance as well. As this process began to take shape, very quickly um, it began to also influence the efforts of other tutors and other communities throughout Sydney. Once this gathered momentum, one could really get the sense of the whole of Sydney moving. Initially, the house of worship was the center of the activities. Gradually, as our number of tutors increased, we uh, gained the capacity to have one central institute campaign at the house of worship, but then um, uh, decentralized ones in the local neighborhoods. Because we have identified our center of activity in Harkis Nagar. और वहाँ पे बड़ी संख्या में युवाओं को आमंत्रित किया प्रशिक्षण के लिए और उन्होंने बच्चों की कक्षा के टीचर के रूप में और अनपेरक के रूप में उन्होंने प्रशिक्षण प्राप्त किया। हरकेश नगर has a population of 250,000. However, this entire population lives within a very small radius. 
gradually the, the collective consciousness has been built in Harkesh Nagar and they're aware that a, a large number of youth are building their capacity by uh, attending classes and serving their community. When there's a devotional in, in a certain building, everyone living in that building is invited. And we thought that this campaign that has come from the sea, how can a community be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be able to be it was realized that one coordinator is not enough. So we had two, then we had three, then we had four. And gradually they started to ask themselves, what can be a more sustainable uh, uh, method of, uh, of uh, accompanying the groups? The learning site shared this concept where five animators or five children's class teachers could accompany each other with the help of the collaborators. And then the coordinator works with a number of collaborators. उनके साथ संबंध बहुत अच्छा है। वो खुद भी मुझे मतलब वो मुझे खुद भी इनफॉर्म करते हैं कि हाँ हमें ये करना है, वो करना है। और फिर मतलब हमारे बीच में वैसा संबंध नहीं है कि हम किसी हम कोई काम करने के लिए मिल रहे हैं। जब हम एनिमेटर विजिट करते हैं तो जैसे कि हमारा जो मेन उद्देश्य होता ही होता है कि हम एनिमेटर के साथ भी कुछ मतलब अर्थपूर्ण वार्ता लाभ करें तो हम सोचते हैं कि उनके लिए उन जो जुनैद की किताब है उससे हम कुछ डिस्कस करें मतलब कि कि कुछ लेसन प्लान कर लें ताकि कुछ अर्थपूर्ण बातें हो उनसे वो जो किताब है हम उनके उनके अवधारणाओं के बार make up for those that, that had stopped or could not continue for various reasons, but was not able to grow. The realization came that perhaps we need to double the number of youth entering the institute process. When a larger double number of youth enter the institute process, naturally uh, a larger number will be proceeding to the higher books and serving as animators or children's class teachers. तो अभी हमारे कोऑर्डिनेटर्स की टीमों में 18 कोऑर्डिनेटर्स हैं और उनके जो साथ साथ जो उनको मदद कर रहे हैं कोऑर्डिनेटर्स को उसमें 72 कोलाबोरेटर्स या अनुभवी अनुप्रेरक या अनुभवी शिक्षक हैं जो उनको मदद करते हैं और 2022 जो हमारी टोटल कोर एक्टिविटीज हैं जो स्थान हमारी जो दिल्ली की जो स्थानीय आध्यात्मिक सभा है वो हमें हर पल मदद करते हैं जैसे कोई भी वो योजना बनाते हैं वो वो हमसे पहले वो हम हमारे साथ परामर्श करते हैं आई थिंक द असेंबली हैज गोन थ्रू अ लर्निंग प्रोसेस इटसेल्फ इट हैज इवॉल्वड वेरी मच सो सिंस द डिसेंट्रलाइजेशन द वे वी कंसल्ट आई थिंक इज स्लोली मैच्योरिंग we felt that if we expect the community to fulfill its goals we have to be part of that the relationship which exists between the agencies it's one where i think we complement each other if you like we can see how the institution um, the individual the community itself how they're all coming together how they're able to work together in a very united way is really what has kept us in the forefront of our activities. Oftentimes we wonder how uh, Delhi Cluster has sustained its activities, has continued to grow and perhaps it was this everyday meeting of the core group without fail since 2nd March 2010. The core group consists of coordinators of every activity. So when they uh, meet together every day, pray and read the writings together every day, it, it binds them together. It influences the atmosphere of the whole cluster. And there is no opportunity for the cluster to fall back because the reflection is, is not once, but every day for those who are serving full time.
In Daga, the population is about uh, 8,000, and half of this, about 4,000 plus, are Baha'is. Daga is in a remote setting. The communities are so scattered uh, due to the mountainous region. There's no good transportation system. And uh, in order for, for the people to walk around, we have to walk across rivers, climb mountains, have 33 local hospital assembly and one of the features is that the local hospital assembly take ownership of all the activities that happens in that community. When there is something that needs to be solved you would see everybody turning to the local spiritual assembly and everyone has felt that they would get the right solution to whatever they are going through through this divine divine institution. In that regard, it is very evident that the, the administrative order of Baha'u'llah has, has taken its root and its shape. Orup Dayton Dayton, ambagang community wande niwa, wana bendia wata wana pan. To iam Dayton, Gwyn Dayton, Nautat, Anuawa Dayton. We have come together, organize the Osno meetings, say prayers in early dawns and coming together, saying these words together, influences our own being. Well, sometimes the whole community is going to the Baha'i Center to say, have their dawn prayers. It's like a habit for them. So when it comes to like children's dawn prayer, family dawn prayer, or, or the whole community dawn prayer, or even the members of the local spiritual assembly dawn prayers, they, they are moving. This is an environment where we share understandings together. Uh, that's the common aim. And we have the vision of uh, collaboration, participation, and building capacity in others. 15 to 20 years ago, we don't have a lot of you know, educated uh, people, but due to uh, the institute causes, when it came to uh, Daga, it really helped everyone in that community by now they can speak English, they can read and they can write and they can even teach uh, study cycles and they can express, you know, very confidently. Currently we have uh, elementary school, kindergartens and also primary schools. The, the future uh, life of the, the children, it is under the, the care of the community as a whole. From adults, children, youth, junior youth, Everyone is engaged in the, in the process. They do the um, service component, organizing devotional meetings, children's classes, junior youth, and all of these things. And we reach 1,000 core activities. People sacrifice and they are devoted because they have embraced the teaching of Baha'u'llah and it has influenced them. And they see the need to be out there carrying out these activities for the transformation of their communities and uh, social action is coming, which is also contributing together with the institute process. The community is always concerned about the, the development of uh, spiritual and uh, material aspects. If um, anyone's willing to start any project, we have to you know, discuss together what are the benefits of such projects in both aspects, uh, both spiritual and material. We apply whatever we learn and help our community to you know, progress. As a result of uh, uh, the revelation of Baha'u'llah, knowledge is generated and shared, yeah, and it helps everyone to um, raise their capacity. You learn to, to, to see the people whom you are working with are people who have the potentials. So it's not that you alone doing everything, but then you are collaborating with the community. You will also, also realize that you are growing intellectually, you are also growing morally or spiritually as a whole human being. It creates opportunities where I feel in my heart that I have power to say Baha'u'llah according to my own capacity in my little ways. And we must have a heart for him that we pray that 
those of us having these teachings, we can bring this world into a next stage. And I have that love and heart's desire to continue to save him until the end. Every generation of youth, drawing inspiration from the same divine impulse to cast the world anew, has seized the opportunity to contribute to the latest stage in the unfolding process that is to transform the life of humankind. In this we el espacio que estaba disponible para, para jóvenes como yo eh, era un espacio donde era comprensivo, donde había mucha espiritualidad también, había gente dispuesta a acompañarte. Comencé a participar de las actividades y, bueno, comencé a notar que las conversaciones eran diferentes, los conceptos eran diferentes. Vemos que esos jóvenes sirven como esa motivación y han entendido bien el propósito, el cual es cómo yo me capacito y ayudo a avanzar a otros para que pues, nuestra humanidad esté en continuo mejoramiento. واحنا كشباب مع اصدقائنا نساهم بشكل اكبر في القوى البناءة من حيث ان نبني المجتمعات واللي صاير يعطينا نموذج انه كيف حضر بها الله يريد يبني عالم متحد زي جس فؤو دسهو هاي بانزو و كن لاوجي بها الله دا تيان تي سو داي جي و من دا مو بياو在这七年的这个时期，我们有能力去服务青少年，去服务儿童，帮助他们建立美德的基础，帮助他们建立表达能力。我相信，在这个未来里面，当儿童成长为大人，当青少年成为大人的时候，在这个社区当中一定会很美
на другие процессы института. तो शुरू में जब हम बाल्य अवस्था में थे एक पुस्तकों का अध्ययन किए थे हमारा उम्र फिर बारह हो गया था बारह वर्ष तो जो है हम फिर जूनियर ग्रुप में चले गए और फिर जो है हम युवा अवस्था में गए तो फिर रूही पुस्तकों का अध्ययन किया फिर उसके माध्यम से एक बच्चों की कक्षा चलाया फिर जो है हमारे बच्चों की कक्षा जो है उससे जो है उसका उम्र बढ़ा और वो जो है जूनियर ग्रुप में भी गया और फिर जो है हम उसी क्लास को एकदम सस्टेन करते गए और जूनियर ग्रुप पुस्तकों का अध्ययन किया और फिर जो है उसी के साथ जो है हम अध्ययन विद कक्षा शुरू और वो अभी जो है अभी बच्चों की कक्षा ले रहा है और वो जूनियर ग्रुप ले रहा है ये दोनों जो है अभी बच्चों की कक्ष टीचर और एनिमेटर के रूप में जो है अभी वो सेवा दे रहा है London is a large metropolitan city with a population of about 9 million people. There's about a thousand Baha'is and currently there are 300 uh, activities in, in the city. Throughout London we have groups of youth who are coming together regularly who see themselves as a team but also have this vision of expanding that this, this friendship doesn't just uh, stop with the five or six of us but how can we bring more and more of our friends into this. Is it? Maybe we could all go around and introduce ourselves. I'm Stefan, uh, I live in Hackney and I study economics. I'm Sarah, I live in Whitechapel and I study dentistry. I guess in the past few years we've been trying to really work with large groups of youth and see, you know, can we actually um, have these spiritual conversations with large groups of youth? We planned a project for the next two weeks to meet youth in a couple of areas in London. We deepened on some themes that we'd like to introduce um, in, our mean, in our meaningful conversations with young people. So maybe, um, you know, the role of youth, early adolescence, the life of Bahá'u'lláh. We have some resources and we study them, maybe um, sections from these conference materials, some House of Justice messages, some passages. We also went through everything that we've studied so far. So for each heading, for example, the period of youth, we bullet pointed all the concepts that we've discussed. And we've written it all down. And in red are the questions that we've thought of that we'd like to, to ask the youth that we meet. The conversation we had was with a youth, it was just such an inspiring conversation, so uplifting. When we started talking about spirituality and religion, that was when we really got interested and I think there's this there's this deeper this deeper understanding with young people that we can tap into and maybe that's actually what they're interested in. And I think it really brings to mind what was said in the youth conference, which is about the matter the circumstances of the youth. Um, each, every youth has the desire to actually serve in this capacity. So. so London being a very large city and a very complex place, we have often this mindset that, you know, who, who wants to contribute towards their communities? Who has the time, especially living in London, who has the time to do anything? And actually it's been the exact opposite. Seeing people actually take their time out to, um, to work in the neighbourhoods and to really seek this change. Now I feel like my efforts, even though they may be small, can still contribute to the greater good. I look into how I can better my community and also like help others because it's not just about me, it's about everyone else in society and how I can give back. I never used to think that anything I did would make a difference to like the world or society and so like after learning what a powerful source of like energy and like good the youth can be I wanted to be that.
with the youth gathering, it became so open for the other youth to, to come because they found the discussions and the conversations like welcoming, like they could fit in naturally, even when they did not have any activity, even when they were not yet offering any service to their community. <laughs> This gathering has created an environment in which the youth explore together the spiritual forces around them, the negative forces around them, and then developing their capacity to converse and to be able to increase the number of laws that are coming into this conversation. <laughs> My topics the more you go close, then they begin even to open up to the other matters like family matters. So that has also given an opportunity for the craft agencies to be able to identify what other materials, maybe besides from what we are already offering them, what is this other materials we can give the youth to study. The writings of Baha'u'llah really helped me a lot. I, I can't like express myself the way I'm feeling, the way they've changed me, the way Baha'u'llah has changed my life. The vision is to transform mankind. We, we transform ourselves and also we transform the community at large. Tanınmaz idi ki, ilk növbədə öz gənclərimizin qabiliyyətinlərin yetişməsi üzərinə fokuslanmalıyıq. Bunun üçün ne etməli? Hansı mühit yaratmalıdır ki, iradə formalaşsın, bacarıq və qabiliyyətlər formalaşsın? Bakı klasterində 2011-ci ildə təqribən klaster üzrə 15 gənc var idi ki, onlar aktiv xidmət edirdilər və onlara yaradılan himayədarlıqdan uzaq güçləndirici mühit səbəb oldu ki, onları öz ətraflarını genişləndirmək istədilər. Bu vaxtdan bərində kimi 20 min gənc Həzət və Allahın baxışı gənclərin cəmiyyətlər olub, barədə söhbətlərə daxil olublar. Və təqribən 2 min gənc icma fəaliyyətlərində iştirak edib. Конечно, мы пытаемся сделать систематически такие встречи для молодежи, где мы приглашаем изучать материал конференции. Daha çox ya öz tanışlarımızı çağırırıq, ətrafımızda olan gənclərə, universitetdən və yaxud hansı bir başqa bir yerə getdiklərimizi. 
Gənclərlə ünsiyyət yaratmaq üçün və mənalı söhbətlər aparmaq üçün biz daha çox onu maraqlandıran şeylər barədə danışırdı. Мы научились общаться вот душа в душу, как передать то, что мы делаем. Мы научились убирать эту грань между мы и вы, но смотреть на людей как на сотрудников. Менем социальная шабача вас тесте бир достун арадзилагинан будини араштрма баштадам, видеоришлера гадем. Bu din ideyalarını danışdıqdan sonra mən artıq maraqlı gəlməyə başladı və düşündüm ki, daha da dərini araşdırmağa dəyərdir. Məsələn, ondan sonra gənclər arasında bir görüş oldu xalqlar dostluğunda. Məsələn, oradakı gənclərin düşüncələri, məsələn, yeni etmələrlə iş, məsələn, uşaqlarlə iş. Mənə çox maraqlı gəldi, öz düşüncələrində müəyyən dəyişikliklərə səbəb oldu o mühid. Məsələn, burada ruhi seminarları olur. Burada da artıq digər mövzuları öyrənməyə başlamışıq. Kursu bu kimdən dəyət instrumentu. Məlacuş nəçinəyət prəxədəyət ruhi. Mənəyətsə ixubləs məşələyəni, dəcət məşələyəni, dəcətləyəni, mənəyətsə atmosferəv səsəsdəyə. Yəni, tutorlar komandası bir-birimizə daima təşviq edirdik və bir-birimizə daima məşvələt edirdik. Bizim aramızda olan o dostluq bağları bizə kömək edirdi ki, bu intensiv kurslar zamanı. Digər bir məsələ o idi ki, gənclər necə təşviq olunsunlar ki, davamlı olaraq bu kitablara gəlib keçsinlər. Qonşuluqda təşkil olunan dua məclislərində reallığı dəyişirdi qonşuluqda. İndiyənə qədər dua haqqında öz fikirləri olan insanları indi isə yeni bir anlayışla tanış olub və yeni yola qədəm qoyan insanlar olurdu. Bir institutunu keçmədən öncə ki, tərzinə, xəsiyyətinə baxır və daha sonra keçdikdən sonra və həqiqətən müəyyən bir fərqi hiss edirsən. Yəni, insanın xəsiyyəti dəyişir, insan öz xarakterini dəyişməyə cəhk göstərir, insanlara daha yaxşı, daha normal, daha sevgi dolu bir nasibət göstərməyə çalışırsan. Həqiqətən qəlbimdə böyük bir sevgi var idi ki, mən insanlara onu göstərim, Hz. və Allahın həqiqi sevgisini. Some of the changes that I've seen in myself has been like a greater sense of like responsibility for the things that we're doing in the community. It's a priority for me to keep working towards that, no matter where I'm at in my life. That's led me to making decisions to stay here, um, going into college, and doing a lot of reflection of like how can I take my career into also having that be service. Attending uh, holy days and spaces and participating in, in core activities has allowed me to really take charge of shaping my spiritual identity. Once you have this desire to be of service to others, that at the center allows you to reach great lengths in everything that you do in life. It's as if that one thing in the center shapes and influences everything that you do. We began to start seeing that young people in particular began to start thinking differently and living a, a very different lifestyle because they were now engaged in interacting with the Word of God in a very intense way. When I was reading um, some of the writings of Baha'u'llah, I realized that it was helping me transform for the better. If I want to make sure that things are better for myself and, and for my family, I want to make sure that the community grows as well. Yo acabo de empezar a estudiar lo que es el libro 1. De la manera que llegamos aquí fue que mi hija empezó se integró a un grupo. Yo me interesé en ver lo que ella hacía. Lo que más me empezó a interesar fue la manera en que ella empezó a orar con sus amigos. Quiero aprender a tener esa conexión que yo vi que ella ella lograba tener. Tan hermoso podernos acercar a Dios por medio de la oración. Todo eso, todas las enseñanzas de Bajaula nos 
nos están ayudando a crecer espiritualmente. Vemos diferencia no solo en nuestros hijos, sino ya en nosotros mismos también estamos cambiando, estamos eh, avanzando espiritualmente. Us being involved as the youth has drawn in entire families to then be engaged with each other. We see how much love can come out of building relationships, transcending cultural barriers, language barriers. I think as we grow older and we like meet other people and form our families is this idea of how can we serve together and be a part of this community and help it grow and also have others help us. The assembly has wanted to consciously cultivate a relationship with, with the youth and to talk with them about what their goals are in life, what they're thinking of for their future, for education, how this fits in with service and having this cohesive life. So this idea of developing a relationship with the institution itself is a goal, is a hope, and is something to, that is being worked toward. Due to many efforts of the youth, we were able to um, have the junior youth program in a middle school. And then we could have a junior youth group for each grade level. I teach eighth grade science. And I think that the program should be in the classroom. And I've actually talked to our one of our main leaders about bringing this program into the classroom. I think it's the school's jobs, the teacher's jobs, the parents' jobs, the neighborhood's jobs, the society's jobs to help build these kids up because the program really does enhance their natural qualities, their natural positive qualities. We've learned that really engaging young people opens the way for then an entire community to begin to move, to take ownership. A natural outcome of the rise both in resources and in consciousness of the implications of the revelation for the life of a population is the stirrings of social action. When the population begins to see how she can take charge from the point of view, to develop from the point of view spiritual, from the point of view social, from the point of view intellectual, nous allons amener la véritable, ou bien une véritable compréhension sur le développement communautaire, où on intègre tous les aspects de la vie, puisque les enseignements de la foi concernent tous les aspects de la, de la vie, aussi bien l'aspect spirituel, l'aspect social, l'aspect euh, intellectuel. Et voilà, dans ce contexte-là, on commence à voir le mouvement de la population vers Baha'u'llah. We use the term social action to describe a spectrum of activities which have the distinct purpose of the application of one or another of Baha'u'llah's teachings to the advancements of the social, or the material life of a, of a population. There's various types of socioeconomic development efforts, uh, from very simple, small scale, all the way up to more complex and sophisticated activities. One of the most prominent examples are from junior youth groups where groups of young people are studying certain materials and they look around their community and they see, well, what can we do to carry out some concrete actions to help our community to advance? Kishur, any matter like Samudaya ko bastavikta ko baare ma parna ko lagi उन्हें रुको छह मता बढ़ाए रहे कुछ हाँ, हमरों समुदाय कस्तूर सा समुदाय में केस समस्या आ रही है उन तरह कसर इस साल बुगरने चरपल गर्सन र देरे व्यवहारिक सेवा परियोजना आरोपी उन्हें ले र अतिस को प्रत्यक्ष प्रभाव आमी समुदाय में देखना सकते हूँ समुदाय में अपनी पीसर कलास कलास संचालन मलाई भगवान बाहुला ने दिन भाई को यो उधर अंचाएं एकदम ही राम रोल लगता है जून साइन सोच और असल कर्म और उस परसेंटेज ये उचित चरित्र दारा जो संसार को उन्नति हासिल करने से किंसा जब हम कैम कर चुके सेवा कार्य कर चुके ये पोजीशन मलाई जल जल जल जल यह दाम तक खरीद साइन जॉन सेवा करूं जॉन राम रोल करो वन Yeah, 
fapte bune pentru a ajuta vecinii și locatarii să vadă ce frumos este în curtea noastră. Pentru mine un proiect de servire este un proiect unde ajută nu doar 2-3, dar toată lumea din jur. Proiectul acesta ne ajută să, să lucrăm în echipe și în grup, prietenii noștri care avem și care vom avea. So in smaller settings of villages and neighborhoods, we can really observe how both material and spiritual progress advance in the context of the community building efforts. Among the responses that um, communities make to the different needs that they see, some of these efforts become more sustained. Tak tahu wenas, sahaja malah wenas. Kena mereka hari important setah self support juga, tan tanulah sebelum la marine resource. Mana semin ramal pas, iya ramal pas. Kena kerja artang pun naik lalu mana mai bawa kuat. Lain lagi naik namir mahu hujan ke, ya roke, ini yang mesem yang mesai buat awu panikan mah. Over time, some of these sustained efforts become more complex. And as insights are gained, the Bahá'í Inspired Organization is established. At the center of the growth process that has taken place in the Bacturicated Cluster, is the building of capacity in the individuals. And this capacity has been built principally by the Institute. Another instrument that was used was the Preparation for Social Action Program, which is commonly known as PSA. The program was introduced into the Bahtuli Kete Cluster by the Emergence Foundation, which is a Baha'i-inspired organization. L'implémentation du programme de préparation pour l'action sociale a vraiment aidé à développer la capacité intellectuelle des adultes de la région. Le programme a été créé autour du concept de capacité, c'est-à-dire que la capacité, développer la capacité de penser et d'agir dans un contexte donné pour un but bien précis ou avancé. So it consists in learning about uh, the scientific way of things, be it language, capability, mathematic capability, scientific capability, and processes of community well-being. On se dit que si cette capacité est renforcée. In Batu Rikete Cluster, we have had about 700 persons that have been trained as promoters of community well-being. The term promoter of community well-being is used to identify people who have been exposed to the PSA. Le programme de préparation pour l'action sociale a beaucoup aidé la communauté à réaliser, à prendre conscience de ce potentiel qui existe dans la communauté. C'est ainsi que petit à petit on commence à voir émerger des programmes d'action sociale qui sont totalement initiés par les amis et dont ils éprouvent eux-mêmes le propre leadership. I remember, at the earlier stages, people were asked, when we finish the PSA, what are we going to do? do. So we limited our understanding in what they will be able to do and we we're not thinking about what they will become. So when we finished the first sequence in 2011, we realized that those who finish, they become useful promoters of every action that was taking place in the community and an agent for the advancement of civilization.
En el norte del Cauca, el acceso a la educación ha sido un gran problema debido a la situación económica y también a todos los obstáculos que las personas tienen para acceder a ella. Les tocaba también desplazarse a otros lugares y no había como una base principal ahí para poder acceder a la educación. El programa de apoyo a líderes nació con el deseo de responder a la necesidad de la educación eh, como un punto clave para el, el desarrollo tanto social y económico de nuestra, de nuestra población. Gracias al programa, un gran número de estos jóvenes pueden ir a la universidad a través de un programa técnico, tecnológico o profesional. El programa de apoyo a líderes comunitarios tiene una duración de cuatro años. Los participantes vienen a una serie de seminarios en las que ellos desarrollan ciertas capacidades. Una de esas capacidades es la de poder desarrollar un discurso con el cual van a conversar con sus amigos en la universidad, con las personas de su comunidad acerca de temas, por ejemplo, la armonía entre ciencia y religión, de qué manera el ambiente mediático influye en nosotros. Uno de los, de los materiales que se usan es de los materiales de la preparación para la acción social y algunos otros materiales también que son bastante importantes pues, para, para crear esa capacidad eh, colectiva en las personas. Estos materiales fueron desarrollados principalmente por los esfuerzos de una organización de inspiración Baha'i llamada Fundae, también conocida como Fundación para la Aplicación y Enseñanza de las Ciencias, que fue creada hace muchos años con el fin de responder a la necesidad educativa que existía en la región del norte del Cauca. El programa de apoyo a líderes comunitarios ayuda a entender eso que es necesario servir a su comunidad, pero también cada cosa que uno haga, esforzarse por hacerla con excelencia, de, sí, de una manera que, que pueda hacer que su comunidad pueda avanzar. El programa busca desarrollar en los jóvenes la capacidad de leer constantemente la realidad de su región para poder identificar los desafíos que hay y aportar a la solución de acuerdo a sus talentos y capacidades. Les ayuda a formar un marco conceptual que les ayuda a sopesar toda la información que ellos reciben de acuerdo al camino laboral que han escogido. La educación que ellos reciben en la universidad solamente hace parte de lo que nosotros llamamos educación. Otro de los componentes es el de servicio. Es por esta razón que cada uno, todos los participantes del programa, se les anima en una actividad de servicio específica. Gracias al programa de apoyo a líderes comunitarios en el norte del departamento del Cauca, se ha generado todo un movimiento donde jóvenes con mucho entusiasmo están trabajando para generar el cambio que la región necesita y naturalmente ese cambio se ve reflejado en sus vidas. Over a decade ago, as the Institute process in Vancouver started to grow in strength, a small group of friends were trying to learn to apply the Institute process with a specific population of newcomers to Canada. And the first need that was identified was the ability to communicate in English. So we started a simple English class. We called it English Corner. So over time, we learned that the issue, it wasn't the, the need to master language and grammar, but that there was a yearning for newcomers to be part of a group of friends that was in constant dialogue about the well-being of their community. And materials were developed. Simple questions and quotes related to themes relevant to the community. We would draw in quotes from the revelation of Baha'u'llah. So we had groups slowly building this capacity to reflect on their current state and then take simple steps forward, start thinking about how Baha'u'llah's teachings really affect both the material and spiritual well-being of a, of a population. When you first immigrated to a new country, you are homesick. This is a new place, new culture, new language. You are a new member. You want to belong to this culture, to this community. 
Baha'i teaching says that we want to create a better world. And this is a place where you can try to sense that. That's the core value, I think, in English Corner. You will learn your English and you will get to know more friends. And then together you create a small community. We have about 30 English Corners in the area with hundreds of participants. So actually we, we registered a, a non-profit organization and now it has a, a board of directors that helps guide the process. What began as an English class over time has grown in its scope and complexity where now we have these groups that are building community as they learn to consult together, to reflect together, and in light of the teachings of Baha'u'llah to think of the next practical steps to build community in their area. Lani kodoshi ya na chini ni bira sasa iri na tena michinieri, ame inge ya tambla kiri kiri na sisi karti, iti sango sala ke dape. Etonga na ita sio duti da, ala kumunda tete tete non, ani peti duti gitano sio singa pe, ala tena ani duati sala kusala ti bahau la ti tene. Formation sisi bi yeso bi manda, amule kina bi faso tene bi, ira ame inge sio, ike dai kimo maboko na la, ifua la zigi na ikor. Ndani sosi, iga imu kura si tene, digo na formasyon, na fondasyon na ide ushanga adje eti. L'approche que la fondasyon adje a entrepris pour la promosyon et la formasyon des enseignants pour les écoles communautaires est une approche révolutionnaire. Et la fondasyon développe la capacité de l'enseignant à devenir un enseignant dans la classe, mais aussi développe la capacité de la communauté à comprendre ce que c'est que l'éducation des enfants. La Fondation Adie travaille, sensibilise et guise la conscience de la communauté par rapport à la question de l'éducation. Et une fois que la prise de conscience est effective au sein de la communauté, ils comprennent qu'il leur faut prendre une action, mettre en place une école qui appartient au village. L'école là que tu as parlé, la communauté, mais la sensibilisation qui tenait. À la cabane, dans le chien, je lui tamble à ti, et puis après, tu sollicites aussi à la petite tenue, à la petite ou à ben espace. À maintenant, par on se sert à qu'un niveau et le petit et tu es là à la petite introduite et à la ligne à tes formations. Tu aussi fondation pour former tenant la gare aussi. Nata école n'a pas beaucoup n'a amené gagné aussi. Ou à mon ingé à côté ou en bas corps au ting à y soit tenu à aider ses ou à aider famille. Donc, il y a un gars qui engage, qui garde un mandat, qui éduque, un quartier, un milieu solidaire, où on a même des gens qui sont des gens qui sont là, qui sont là, qui sont là. L'école n'est pas la fin de ce que nous voulons faire. L'école pour nous est un cadre qui permet à toute la population d'apprendre. C'est ça ce que nous considérons comme une école communautaire pour nous. Les enfants apprennent au sein de l'école. Toute la communauté se réunit au sein de l'école pour consulter. Et on voit comment l'école influence la culture, comment l'école influence la pensée. Donc l'école est devenue comme un centre de lumière, un centre qui diffuse les connaissances, un centre qui favorise l'émergence de l'unité, un centre qui permet au village de se sentir responsable de sa propre destinée. Kanne narende maisia rapotan nama itu yang anikiri pes nte angat tebu pat yang angat tabun maisia tebutan nama itu yang anikiri pes. Kami bukan tebari anno ni mewat yang aru aku pes ni ngau mewat ni maisia kai dek nte. Eh kanne punika aku anikiri pes nak kontai kamaru. Ten years ago, 
the government and the people cried out, what are we going to do with our youth? Because we didn't know what to do with the strong negative forces that are, are quite a disturbance to the community. The youth have a vital role to contribute to the betterment of the world. And that's how the Ozan Meadow came into the schools with the Junior Youth Empowerment Program. Otan Meadow Education Institute is a Baha'i inspired organization and it's shortened for Ome. We have a program that we have done in the past. We have done it in the past. We have done it in the past. We Kinangani <laughs> Now, after 10 years, the, it's not just the school and the students and the parents, but now the island council and the, those who are, you know, who are at the government level. Maida, Kamsira, Sinamakin Nanabaska, Owaba, Yay Pitakin Gayap. Atenta Yagai, Nano Nayaki Roya Tota, Mananare to me. I know Yarang Tangiradiki, the Rede Yati, the Takira Matio me, than a program when Anga. Up to two thousand and seventeen, we reached out to three thousand two hundred and fifty six junior youths. Now you see that people connect the absence of you going into jail, they're connecting it to the program because they're seeing uh, youths coming out of the junior youth program more responsible for themselves and for their family and as a whole to the community. Nous avons appris beaucoup de choses pendant ce temps-ci. Nous savons que le monde vit dans un état de confusion, dans le désarroi, dans le désespoir. Mais nous faisons des efforts pour que un noyau grandissant de personnes euh, qui entrent en contact avec la parole de Baha'u'llah réfléchissent sur comment est-ce que nous pouvons mettre en application ces enseignements de Baha'u'llah euh, afin de répondre à nos problèmes quotidiens. Cuando un grupo se levanta y empieza a proyectar ciertos cambios ¿sí? en su comportamiento, en la manera de relacionarse, en cómo conversan, en cómo sirven a los demás, en cuáles son las aspiraciones y propósitos en su vida, de repente la cultura de ese lugar empieza a transformarse. Y uno ve la influencia de la revelación de Baha'u'lláh, la ve materializada allí en esos contextos. So if we want to think about an irrepressible movement, I guess an example is how the human body grows. How that growth takes place, how different cells in the body learns its own responsibility and then applies it for the continued health of the body. The same way in the community, every individual, every member of the community, every institution has to learn what are those responsibilities and role each one has to play and contributing to that vision for a healthy body, a healthy community and advancing civilization. And where we see this happening, there is complete joy in the community. There is complete joy of the people as well.
one of the nature of human being is to be together, to learn together and strive for excellence together. It is possible for a society to take charge of its, of it, of its future. But it starts with two or three friends to learn about some interesting principle and then explore about the meanings and insights of those, those principles and keep learning and generating their body of knowledge, make it go to a certain level that will actually permit the change that they would like. There's a lot of principles and concepts that were introduced through the teaching of the faith to the society and it's been tested. They have not only heard about it, they also put it in practice. They have seen the impact of it, they love it, and now they are really engaged. As every follower of Baha'u'llah knows well, humanity's ultimate well-being is dependent upon its differences being transcended and its unity firmly established. Every contribution Baha'is make to the life of their society is aimed at fostering unity. Every community building endeavor is directed towards the same end. For those tired of contention, the communities growing under the shadow of the greatest name offer a potent example of what unity can achieve.